and honey you are not skinny dipping the feed and prunics oh my gosh she wants to skinny dip with him girl stop thinking with with you with your body and start thinking with your mind we're in an art museum oh my god <laughs> Hello Rose Petals and Thorns, welcome back to the channel for another episode of Generations and Seasons. So we are here with a Willow who is on her way to get a Rashi because today they are going to go and participate in a competition. And I thought it would be super cute to do so since we haven't done it yet and Arashi's skill is kind of going to waste as we speak. Oh, a wild horse, awesome. Um, so yeah, here we are pulling up. Oh, there's lots of wild horses. Jeez. So, and did I just see that right? But Coraline just, oh my gosh, you guys. Coraline just completed a painting valued at 191. Holy heck. That is insane. Uh, please load in so I can see the painting. Is it the painting I think it is? Oh, come on. Let me see it. Hurry up. I think it's the painting of the kitten, which I thought was super cute. Oh my god, it is! Oh, and I want to sell it, but at the same time, I don't. We're not selling this. Mm -mm, no way. We're going to put it up right there. <laughs> no, we're not. We're going to put it, we're going to put it right here in the dining room. It's going to be dining room decor. Yes, yes. Put it right there. Here, we're going to put it. Come on, come here. Oh, come on. There we go. Yes. Right there. Look how cute that is. We cannot sell that. There's just no way. Okay, so I'm going to have her take a shower and then just eat some leftover spaghetti, your favorite. So, yes, Willow is going to spend some time with Arashi because there is a competition at noon today. So I thought it would be super cute for her to ride Arashi over there and they can compete in the competition. So she's going to mount up. And we're gonna go ahead and head over there. Um, I am thinking about giving her some new outfits, kind of to fit more with summer. She really doesn't have a summer outfit, I guess you would say. Okay, rub his neck. Praise for being agile, please. And then um, I always have to do this, but I want you to um, go or right here because something about the lot is kind of like glitched which I'm not really surprised because the lot itself is like not supposed to really be here so <laughs> um yeah I can't wait till they move um away one of these days and she can do that so okay um come over here and uh yes come over here and yeah, just visit the center. Um, that, what are you doing? Are you visiting the center? Are you going together? Are you guys together? You don't look together. You are together. Awesome. Okay, there we go. Oh, this is so cute. Willow's riding skill is actually high enough now that she's not like flailing all over the place, which is pretty nice. <laughs> so I'm going to wait for them to get over there. Coraline, my dear, why don't you um get up and maybe take a trip to the art museum so i was giving it some thought and i'm thinking that what better way to kind of see what this woman is about that was speaking with willow than to visit the museum where she works like maybe she could have a chance of meeting the owner like who knows but i'm thinking that Coraline just kind of wants to investigate more about this woman like she didn't find much on her on the internet except you know that she was rich which everybody knows so she's just kind of going to go over there and see what type of artworks are displayed up there maybe to see like if her artwork is even good enough to be displayed there like she, you know she's been feeling so bad about herself lately that you know she really doesn't feel like that her work is up to par with the work there so she's gonna ride her bike <laughs> over there <laughs> My game is having some trouble like rendering in. It's being a little slow. I've been playing it a lot today, trying to do the machinima work and everything. So it's understandable that it's being a little slow. <laughs> okay, so it's almost noon. Willow and Arashi are almost there. Oh my gosh. 
come on guys hurry up you might miss it <laughs> i would be so upset if they missed it because i really really want them to do this okay so she did that painting oh and she visited that oh here we go so willow crawford has just earned 2711 simoleons from book of royalties oh this is time watch no attend no enter enter the show jumping okay, competition Dan, Dan, oh my god that is super loud um let's enter the beginner because we haven't done this before oh my god that is really really loud i'm trying to scroll out as far as i can whoopsie let's see dark lighters is 51 simoleons 50 shades of sims 3 is 110 the gosling is 434 winter delight is a 1926 and then legend is 190 so for those of you who didn't know um so she, actually she's written two well wait a minute yeah she's written three bestsellers i think i think um Maybe four. I can't remember how many bestsellers she's written, but I know Winter Delight and Legend are a bestseller. Um, Winter Delight, obviously, is her best one. That one's a romance. Legend is a sci-fi one. I forget what The Gosling is. I know this one is a smut novel, and then this one is fiction. So, yeah, Willow is rolling in the dough from royalties. Um, so she's going to enter that competition. So let's go over here and see what is at the museum. Um, oh gosh, okay, it needs to render in. <laughs> oh, Phoenix is here. So we got an I got a notification that Phoenix actually um is that his daughter? Oh my gosh, is that his daughter? No, that's his son. Okay. I was gonna say I wonder how old his wow, his son looks a lot like him. Got the same schnauz, you know what I mean? Got the same schnauz. Oh heck. Yeah, I got a notification that um, Phoenix had a new relationship. <laughs> Not like we care, you know, I mean. Okay, so are you going to participate in that? Okay, we don't visit it anymore. Just enter the competition. It's like one o'clock now. You'll probably miss the deadline. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at all of these figurines. Look at this unicorn. <gasps> look at these hands together. Oh my gosh, these are all like sculptures. Look at the mermaid! Oh my gosh, Corlin, you have to come view this. I freaking am in love. Oh my gosh, it's like Ariel. It's like Ariel. It looks so like Ariel. Oh my gosh. I wanna be where the people are. Oh my gosh, look at this horse. So that must be all the sculptures, and then. Is that all that that's here? It's just sculptures? This isn't much of an art museum. Coraline, honey, this isn't much of an art museum. Are you sure? Um, did you not enter that competition? Hold, please. You didn't because you... Uh, we have a horse. Wait a minute. Get on... Oh, my gosh. Get on Arashi, please. We have a horse. Hold, please. Oh, my gosh. This is ridiculous. Get on Arashi so you can enter the competition. Like, what the heck? Come on, Willow, hurry up. Okay, there we go. Enter the competition. Show jumping beginner. Whew. Okay, that was a close one. I really wanted them to do this today. <laughs> oh, Sims 3, I love you, but pathing problems. Pathing problems. Okay. So let's go back to Coraline. So yeah, honey, this isn't much of a museum. Like there, I'm not seeing a lot of like masterpieces. There's no like Simolisa here or whatever. So uh, I think you kind of probably have a really good chance of displaying your artwork here. I mean, look at this. This isn't anything inspiring. Like what? Arashi, written by Willow Crawford, is registered to complete in the Langarek Classic. Best of luck. Oh my gosh. Yeah, come view these paintings. Like, there's not really anything on the walls. It's all... Oh my god, that is so cute. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's like a little fawn. Oh, I love that. Okay, that one's pretty, pretty much a masterpiece, I would say. But there's so much room in here for, like, pictures, Coraline. Like honey so yeah from what i'm seeing or what from Coraline's seeing 
there's not really a lot here. Like, this is a pretty empty museum. So no wonder this woman is, like, looking for a painter to, like, prove their stuff. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing here. So Coraline pretty much has a fighting chance. So with this knowledge in mind, honey, you are not skinny dipping with Phoenix Prunix. Oh, my gosh. She wants to skinny dip with him. Girl, stop thinking with, with, your, with your body and start thinking with your mind. We're in an art museum. Oh, my God. So I think she's going to text Willow and kind of be like, okay, so I went to see where she worked and I'm really not that impressed. Like, are you sure that I should even be doing this? Like, what the heck? So she's going to text Willow and just kind of be like, you are a little cray cray if you think I'm going to do this. Oh, Arashi Crawford has just entered a jumping competition. Are they still in there? Oh, they're still in there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They're still in there. Oh! steady pace oh my gosh i totally did not even see this take risks go for broke oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh <laughs> i totally was like not paying attention to this at all but he's first oh my god you guys arashi is first oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh come on come on come on arashi come on come on buddy oh my gosh you got this you got this you got this come on arashi let's do it Arashi, written by Willow Crawford, has placed first in the Langret Croc Classic. In addition to the prize money, Willow Crawford has received a trophy in the adoration of the crowd. Huzzah! Oh my god! Yes! 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 That is amazing! That is amazing! They won! I wasn't really that surprised, but they won! And we just did that, Willow. Really? Really? Why do you do this, like, after we've done something? Can we enter another one? Uh, when's the next one? There's no show right now. Come back later. Oh, gosh. So, I was giving some thoughts. Since Arashi is probably going to start being worth so much money, why don't we offer him as a stud and um, riding or leading a horse? Okay, why don't you lead him? And I want you to, to offer him as a stud because we can get a lot of money from that. Um, oh yeah, and then she probably needs to, well, she's probably like, Coraline, I'm really busy right now. So yeah, go lead him in there and, um, offer Stallion as a stud. Oh, look how cute. Because we can get a lot of money for, you know, breeding him, which would be pretty fantastic. So Coraline is actually still over there and she hasn't met the owners yet, I don't think. Are the owners even over here? Because like they don't know that Coraline like is the girl that they're looking for, you know? Like they don't know that Willow talked her up. Um Oh <gasps> you'll receive a stud fee of nineteen. Oh my gosh. It'll only take a minute. Is that okay? Yes. Yes, please. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so I'm not seeing that woman who's the owner anywhere, really. Which, you know, is kind of odd. So, yeah. Hmm. So I think Coraline's just going to go home with this knowledge in mind. And she's going to sleep on it because she is a little tired. So is Willow. Oh my god, I cannot believe we got that much money for Arashi. We are going to start making so much bank. Like, you guys, I can see big things for these people. I really, really can. So, guys, good morning. Bryce is the first one up this morning, and everyone else is still asleep. Um, he had a great night's sleep. He's super excited to start work in a couple of hours. Um, he starts at 9 a.m. And I did see that he, um, his partner is Dudley Rocket, this guy right here. Nice cowboy hat. And, and Dudley is actually a desk jockey, so he's actually underneath Bryce. So Bryce is kind of going to be like the guy that Dudley goes to almost. And then his boss is Vice Squad, and she is Scout Sergeant. So we'll have to get to know her pretty well, um, too. So I did also um, notice that a lot of them have, like Willow has the most lifetime happiness, but we have not really spent their lifetime happiness points. Um, so I think I wanna go ahead and do that. 
Um, she has 38,000. So actually that qualifies us to get quite a lot of things. Um, and I'm thinking though, that possibly what I want to get is either, let's see if I can find it, um, is either the inheritance, um, purchase this reward to receive a handsome inheritance from a long lost relative. The purchasing of, purchasing of this reward and the relative's demise are completely coincidental. So we can either get that or we can get the dusty old lamp. Now, inheritance, basically you get 30,000 simoleons. So you get a thousand simoleons per um, what you spend. However, the dusty old lamp is pretty good, I would think, because you get a lot of money. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking though that I want to wait just a little bit because we have a lot of money, but I don't want to make us too, too rich just yet because I still like the idea that they are, um, really kind of poor, not really poor, but like kind of living, um, humbly and you know they're still living in this hovel and they're not really planning on moving out anytime soon until they can get like a really nice house so maybe we'll just go ahead and have a willow purchase this and maybe she'll just forget about the lamp like we'll say that she was in like this old shop the other day and she bought like this dusty old lamp and um yeah she just kind of forgot about it so there it is in her inventory um, she can clean it later on, but yeah, I think it's just going to kind of sit around in her inventory for a while and she's just going to kind of forget about it because she just bought it and, you know, she put it in the house and thought it was cute. Um, I wonder if we can put it on the mantelpiece. Let's see. Um, yeah, here we go. We can just put it on the mantel. Oh no, Willow's starting to feel a bit ill. That's not good. Oh, it's kind of clipping with... That's okay. So she can set it on her dresser and it's kind of like a conversation piece almost. Um, but she's going to go have some pancakes that Bryce made for breakfast. And then I wanted to take a shower. Oh gosh, Cleo's in the way. Hold on. Cleo, honey, you need to come out here and go to the bathroom anyway. So why don't you come out here and pee, please. And then come back in and eat from the bowl because your mother cannot get around from the bed, apparently. Um, so yeah, grab a plate of these scrumptious looking pancakes and then take a shower. Thank you. Now Coraline is getting up. She definitely is going to need some food. So go ahead and grab a plate. Um, and why don't you use the bathroom, please? So Bryce is starting to feel a bit ill. So, um, that's not really the best way to start off the first day of work, but hey, it happens. So my dear, um, why don't you go to the bathroom, even though that toilet is super, super dirty and then take a shower. Oh, look at the girls sitting together. Ew, Bryce. Oh yeah. Scrumptious looking my foot, black bean pancakes. Bryce, you, oh, see, this is why men don't cook. Look at the girls. They're probably like, mm, yeah, this is really good. Here, Cleo, have some. Oh my God. Are you serious? Black bean pancakes, Bryce. That is so disgusting. Oh, he's just so happy with himself. He's like, yep, I just made black bean pancakes for the girls. Ha ha on them. And then like, you know, he made himself a plate of normal pancakes. I bet. I bet. Oh no, Rashi's feeling a little hungry. Well, wake up from your nap, baby, and go eat some food. Um, let's see. Ride a horse. Willow, we just rode a horse, dear. Yeah, clean up this mess, please. This house is filthy. So Coraline, I think is, oh, she wants to go to the summer festival. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted as well. I think she's going to go to the summer festival maybe by herself and kind of have a nice day to herself because she still has a lot of thinking to do as far as whether she's going to do this job or not. So um, I think in the next part, I'll have her go to the summer festival um and see what she would like to do so bryce my dear i know that you need to go to work um oh he wants to learn the fishing skill that's also actually perfect because i wanted you to go fishing this summer um 
I'm going to clean off this counter, please, because that's a little gross. You need to clean these toilets. Willow, when you get out of the shower, now that you know, you're going to have to clean this toilet, please. Because <laughs> it's just a little gross. Someone didn't flush. That's nasty. Okay. Well, what can I say? So, Coraline, when does the festival open? Um, it doesn't open until 8. So why don't you, my dear, start another painting and I don't know, she's just kind of still thinking. So she's going to come over here. She got really inspired by um, the, uh, uh, what was it? The museum that she went to. She got really inspired thinking like, wow, that museum really wasn't much. I could do so much better. So she's kind of, you know, gotten back into her mojo and she's, um, becoming more creative with herself, which I think is great. Okay, use the bathroom then, now that you've flushed. Um, so, yeah. And then, is there another competition we can enter? Today at five. Okay. Well, we'll have to see if we can do that again, because that was really fun. And it made uh, Arashi more kind of valuable in a way to get more points. So that is always great. So I think that is what we are going to do. So the carpool should arrive for Bryce in about an hour. So why don't you come over here and just be a little romantic with your husband, you know, hold his hands and come over here and flirt with him and kiss him, you know, goodbye, because this is his first, like compliment his appearance, be like, baby, you look really good today. I love a man in uniform. <laughs> um, oh gosh. Yes, see, that's perfect. Be like, you're gonna do great on your first day. You've, you know, practiced for this. You went to school for this. You're gonna be fabulous. You know, I'll cook dinner when you get home to celebrate. You got to tell me all about it. Oh, I love them. Go ahead and kiss him. Oh, and Bryce just looks so happy. He's like, you know, their life is finally coming together. You know, they're probably about ages. I would, I aged them when I made them probably about 21, 22. And so maybe now they're a little bit older since Bryce has been going to school for a couple years. So they're finally getting their life together at such a young age, and it's so cute. Like, they have a house, they have a dog, you know, Willow is doing really well writing. Oh my god, I ship them. I ship them so hard. Ugh. So, yeah, Bryce, you need to go to work, my dear. Um, it starts, why don't you use workout facility? Interesting. Build independent case. Sacrifice a bit of your daily job performance. Hmm, we really don't have a lot of job performance, so why don't we work hard for our first day? I think that would be the best um, decision to do. <gasps> oh, look at Bryce in his uniform. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Oh, Coraline's level seven on the painting skill. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, Willow. What is this face? She's got the mom face down. Oh my gosh, but look at him. I have to get a picture. I have to get a picture of him in his uniform. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest thing ever. Bryce. Little Bryce. Ugh. He still looks skinny. Look how skinny he looks in this uniform. We're going to have to beef this boy up. Oh my gosh. We're going to take like before and after shots. I want this boy buff. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Oh, where's the patrol car? Oh, okay. Yeah. Just, just run. Just run. <laughs> Holy heck. Okay. Where are you going? Bryce? Bryce? Oh. Oh, the police station's right here? Oh, well, what the heck do we need that for? We can just walk to work. Oh, here I was gonna, like, have Willow come out and wave bye, but it's like, bye, honey, you know, I'll see you over there. Like, Willow could just walk to work and or walk to his work and give him lunch. That is super cute. Oh, my gosh. So, guys, I think I'm going to end this part here. Um, and in the next part, we'll figure out how Bryce's first day went. And we'll have Coraline go to the Summer Festival. Maybe Willow will go with her. Um, what is this? 
decorate house with at least 15 paintings <gasps> oh yes because i don't i didn't show you guys look what Coraline drew for willow well not drew but she painted it for willow that i thought was super cute and look willow displayed it like a good best friend in the living room you can't really see it it just looks gray there we go look at that she made her a horse painting which i thought was absolutely perfect oh i love that i just that just shows like how good of a best friend they kind of are to each other even though Coraline is a bit on the outs lately i just oh wow what is she painting now that looks like a transformer <laughs> anyway you guys i'm gonna end this part here thank you guys so much for watching if you like this part go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos from me go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i will see you my lovely little rose petals in the next part bye you guys